Hello, I'm Tom Zacharias with the National Crop Insurance Services. The 2011 drought in Texas was unprecedented in its severity. According to the state climatologist, areas of the central part of Texas, the south, and the western sections of the state received less than one quarter of their normal rainfall. 2011 was the driest year on record, and despite the use of irrigation and state-of-the-art farming practices, agricultural losses in Texas were enormous. Fortunately, most farmers and ranchers in Texas had purchased adequate levels of coverage and received their indemnities in the timeliest way, usually within 30 days. In 2011, for the $10.4 billion paid nationally, Texas farmers received about one-fourth of those indemnities. The crop that took the largest hit in Texas was cotton. That was about $1.8 billion in losses. The next hardest hit crop was corn at losses of $232 million and wheat farmers in Texas suffered losses of $180 million. As a member of the Governor's Panel on Drought Preparedness noted, quote, no one alive has seen a single year drought damage to this extent, end quote. Thankfully, more than 185,000 policies were purchased in the Lone Star State, insuring 36 million acres. And thanks to crop insurance, those farmers will again be able to plant their fields for 2012. Agriculture, uh, both farming and cattle, requires a tremendous amount of capital in order to be successful. It is an economy of scale, so a farmer or a cattleman come into the bank uh, with a game plan of what they want to do this year. The bank takes that information in and analyzes it and you know, decides whether to loan that money to the farmer this year or not. Obviously, the bank has to take collateral for a loan. Well, we will take uh, equipment and various other pieces of collateral, but a vital, important part of that is the crop insurance, which is part of the farm bill. Uh, we do, in fact, require each and every farmer to provide crop insurance. You know, it sounds kind of bad that you make somebody actually, you know, provide insurance to you, but it's much like owning a home. Everybody buys insurance to protect their home, but they're not wanting their home to burn. They do not want to collect on that insurance at the end of the year. They do not feel like it was a bad year if they didn't collect on that insurance. Well, much the same in farming. The insurance that they purchase, and I do, I do want to stress that they purchase this insurance. There are heavy premiums that go with this crop insurance. So the farmer pays that insurance and then plants his crop, and hopefully he never has to use the insurance. He wants to have adequate rainfall, and to get an average or above average production year. We farm just a little north of the water um, in the coastal bend and we raise corn, milo, cotton, and cattle on my grandfather's farm. The beginning of 2011 was different in the coastal bend than in a lot of parts of Texas. Um, we had one rain event along the coast um, in January of 2011 and we had planting moisture and, and got a crop up and started. Most of the state of Texas was blowing away then and so we were really lucky and grateful that we had enough rain to get a crop started. Basically following that it didn't rain again. Well, no rains during the spring meant that our crops for the most part withered away, the crops that that we did get to grow and it was incredibly hard on the cattle industry because there were no pastures. In fact there we, we hauled in hay from Georgia, Florida, Alabama to feed cattle this winter because we had no hay production in, in 2011. 2011 it was such that with the insurance, we did not have any farmers that actually went out of business. Over 90% of our customers had to draw on their insurance claims. The programs were in place that allowed them not to make a profit, but to actually get a lot of their expense money back, and that was enough to enable them to get financing for the upcoming year. But as we start 2012, we're still in the drought in our area. We've had some rains in parts of Texas that have kind of taken it out of the drought, but in the South Plains and the Panhandle, it is still extremely dry. But because of the programs of 2011 and the program for 2012, those guys are able to come in and get financing. It's still gonna be a very difficult year, it appears in 2012, unless it does start raining. And that's why it's so vitally important to have a farm package that allows the farmer to continue from year to year. In the particular area that I farm, there are very few people my age coming back to the farm, to a large extent because the city is more attractive or they find other things more interesting, but also because it hasn't been particularly profitable and they've seen their parents and their grandparents struggle. It's important to remember that 
for every 30 something farmer like myself, there are about seven retirement age farmers um, in production today. Um, agriculture is a risky business to get into and it takes a tremendous amount of, of capital and investment to be able to do that. I think as Congress crafts this bill, they need to remember that farmers can set neither the weather, mother nature, does what she does, whether we like it or not. And we have little to no control over market prices or input prices. I think what we learned from the drought of 2011 is that good policy can create survivors in an industry where otherwise they wouldn't survive. And I hope that, that Congress remembers that as farmers out there that we're growing your food and producing your clothing and we're doing that for people all over the world and the stability that that provides and the cheap food supply that that provides is very valuable.